All right, let's take a look at constructing a box and whisker plot. And uh, I'm going to go through kind of step by step on how to do this. First of all, we have our data set right here. And the very first thing we have to do is we have to take care of reordering this. So I'm going to say, OK, X, and I'm going to arrange this from smallest to largest because it makes everything a lot easier. So we have 36, 37, 39, and then 41, 43, 44, and there's actually two 44s, and then 45, second 45, and then 49, and finally 69. So this is our data set reorganized from smallest to largest. And once we have that, we're going to use this information to, uh, once we have this, we're going to use our information to find our minimum, our median, and our maximum. So. I'm going to write those values over here. So our minimum, that's pretty easy to see from this data set. It's right here. It's 36. So that's not bad. And our maximum is this value over here on the far right, which is 69. And then we need our median. Okay. And since we have 11 data points here, there's going to be five on either side of the median. So we count up one, two, three, four, five. This is our sixth data point right here. And you can verify that we've got one, two, three, four, five on the right side of it. So that's actually our, our median of our data set, and that is equal to 44. And we need those three key values to start building our box and whisker plot. Um, there's, other, there's two other summary statistics that we need too, and those are called the quartiles. And to find our quartiles, you use this uh, formula for finding the quartiles. And they, the formula is basically this in general form. It is L of some percent is equal to n plus 1, n is the sample size over p over 25, or actually, I'm sorry, p over 100. So p over 100. And, and what we do with this is p is actually the percentile, which is a little bit different. But when we talk about quartiles, those are divided up into corners. So that we deal with uh, 25 for the, for the first quartile or 25th percentile. Those are the same thing. So when I'm looking for that first quartile, this is going to be L of 25, and this is equal to 11. We have 11 data points in our set, plus 1 times 25 over 100. And when we do this, this is really 25 over 100 is really a quarter, and 11 plus 1 is 12. So our 25th percentile happens at this 3 right here. And 3 doesn't stand for the number in this data set, it's the third number over. So just keep that in mind when we look at the, the third third quartile or the 75th percentile we look at it this way L of 75 is equal to um, our number is still 11 for the sample size plus 1 uh, times 75 over 100 okay so this is the the third quartile or the 75th percentile those are the same thing all right when we do the math on this, 11 plus 1 is 12. 12 times 3 quarters, 75 over 100 reduces to 3 quarters. So that's why I'm using that. It is actually, uh, is actually going to be 9. So our ninth data point in this series is going to be our third quartile. So this is the L of 75. So let's go ahead and find those. So the third data point right here is 39. Okay, and our ninth data point right here is this 45. And something is really nice that happens with this is this data set is somewhat symmetrical. We have 11 numbers right there, but the middle is this 44. And if we look to the left of this, from the 43 to the left, there's five data points there. If we find the median of that, that is 39. And if we find the median of the data points to the right of that 44 that's underlined, that is 45. So um, those are our respective quartiles. So we would write down Q1 is equal to 39 and Q3 is equal to 45. So we have our five summary statistics that we really need to build our box and whisker plot. So the first thing that we need to start off doing is we need to put a scale down on the, on, down on, on the bottom. So we'll break that up. We're going to start off something a little bit lower than our lowest number. So that's going to be 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, and then we need one more, and that's 70. And this is on the scale of x, so we really should label that so we can signify that. All right, so let's break this down and let's do this, okay? Our minimum is right here at about 36. And I'm just going to put a dot right there for right now. And our maximum is way over here at 69. 
all right and then in between we have these quartiles and we have our median all right the quartiles make up the edge of the box so let's go to that 39 which is right about here and I'm going to put a line that goes straight up and then my uh, my uh, third quartile is 45 so right above that I'm going to put a line straight up and I'm going to connect those lines right there and that's going to make my box okay and this is Q3 equals 45 right there and this is Q1 is equal to 39. Now what we want to do is we want to draw a line from the edge of that box on this side all the way over to this dot right here which is 69 which happens to be our max. Um, so our maximum right here is equal to 69 we should label this and then our minimum over here is equal to 36 and then right in the middle of this box our measure of center for this box happens to be 44 and that's our median and I'm going to abbreviate that with the X with the little squiggle over the top and that's 44 so that's how we construct our box and whisker plot and how we put the ends on it. 